Okay guys, I'm really excited. I'm gonna show you how to draw one of my favorite characters from Bravest Warriors, Impasta Bear. So let's get drawing. I call him Pasta Bear because, I don't know, he kind of reminds me of pasta. Like most cute, adorable creatures, you wanna start with a large egg shape oval. This would be the basis for Pasta Bear's body. And then his head, you want to have a little bit of an indent, about two thirds of the way up, I'm guessing, for, cause he doesn't really have a neck. He does have an indent. So say this is where his head's gonna be, like that top portion. You want to leave an indent right around that area. He's a little bit more bottom heavy. He's a little, he's a little heavier than Catbug. He eats his chips a lot. So that is his general body shape. Let's go ahead and do his eyes, which will be right around there. And we'll do big black eye number one. These are perfect circles, guys. Again, I'm not the best at drawing perfect circles. Wow, look how scary that looks. Anyway. Eye number one, and he's got a little sh eye shine, which is a half circle here, and then another half circle, same size, same shape, same everything, and he's got a little round nose. It's not perfectly touching here, but he's got a little round brown nose. A little bit bigger, but similar shape than his nose is his mouth, and his mouth comes halfway between this circle, so it overlaps a little bit. It's not right underneath, it's overlapping and then he's frowning, because he's always frowning, and he's got big chubby cheeks. And so his big mustache, go ahead and draw yourself a nice large circle, and then you wanna finish it off at the tips, because his, his mustache goes beyond his body. So after you draw this sketchy circle that kind of comes into his eyes a little bit, you wanna finish it off with two puffs, like so. And then this comes back around to his mouth. And then we'll erase part of his eye. Ta-da, so there is mustache number one. And then mustache number two, we'll go ahead and draw another similar circle, the same height and shape as the other one. But this one is a little bit longer because we see more of his face on this side rather than less of his face. So we have to elongate the circle a little bit. But because he's facing this way, these puffs don't go outside of his head. So Pasta Bear also has these nice, big, puffy eyebrows. So curve up here, and then down like so. And curve number two on top of it, and then you wanna round off the edges. And what about his cute little ears? So his ears are gonna start like halfway point between his eye and they're half circles. Half circle number one, and then half circle number two for the inside, and then line. Again, it's gonna start about halfway up here and it's about the same size, the same height. His stomach is a big, big old circle. And then he's got a little cute little belly button. We're just gonna go ahead and scallop which is half little mini circles all the way around. We're gonna go ahead and do it on this side. And then his arms are really thin and curved. So that's shape one. And then he's got three little fingers. One, two, three. And then really skinny arms, same width all the way back up. And same on this side. And then he's got little feetsies, which very thin, I don't even know how he supports himself on these, on these little feet. Well, one foot, two feet. All right, so that's pretty much how you do a sketch version of Pasta Bear. Okay, so you all should know how to do Pasta Bear now. Send me questions, comments, concerns. Send me your drawings. I really wanna see how you guys how you did. I love everything you guys have sent in so far. It's great. Let me know what you want me to draw next. Maybe we'll branch out and do something that's not Bravest Warriors or Adventure Time or being Puppy Cat. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.